The Alabama Crimson Tide in action on Saturday morning as they welcome Sam Pittman and the Arkansas Razorbacks to Bryant Denny Stadium on Saturday morning. It was a tale of two halves for Alabama today. In the first, tied down six, Jalen Milrow takes the snap and he heaves a deep ball to Kobe Prentice, hits him in stride. No one's around him, and it's a 79 yard touchdown that put the tide in front. 7-6 to six. to the second quarter now. The Tide, they want to pay a little homage to their former quarterback whose name is also Jalen, Jalen Hurts, as Jalen Milrow and the Tide do their own version of the brotherly shove. Milrow's in for the one-yard touchdown. 14-6 to six, Bama, next possession for the Tide. Milrow takes the snap, finds wide open Amari Nyblack for a 29-yard touchdown pass. Tide take a 21-6 to six lead into the half. But in the fourth, Arkansas making a one possession game as KJ Jefferson finds a wide open Rashad Binion in the end zone. Razorbacks would be down three. Bama's offense would go out to three and out and punt, but the defense would hold and then Arkansas wouldn't score. And then the tide executed when they needed to when they wanted to run out the clock. Bama survives Arkansas's comeback attempt today. Final from Bryant Denny Stadium. Crimson Tide 24, Razorbacks 21. And as I said earlier today, it was a tale of two halves for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Here's head coach Nick Saban on why he thinks his team struggled today. Well, that's two games now. You know, we came out a little flat on defense at Mississippi State when we were ahead at halftime. Uh, but the first drive was really the best drive we had in the second half. When we got the ball and we got the kickoff, we, we went down the field. Uh, and um, didn't finish the drive. So, um, and again, just didn't execute the way we needed to execute. Meanwhile, Crimson Tide quarterback Jalen Milrow gave his thoughts on what the Tide need to do to put together a complete game. First, looking in the mirror, acknowledging what we need to do to get better. Uh, but, you know, the biggest thing we're going to do is just take 24 hours to appreciate the win. Um, but when it's time to um, get back with the coaching staff, we're going to you know, try to find some things we need to do better and uh, try to build on that. The Tide are back in action next Saturday afternoon when they welcome the Tennessee Volunteers to Bryant-Denny Stadium. That game kicks off at 2.30 on CBS.